hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn for the front end where we are going to fetch all the collections of data so what is that collection data is nothing but our category so the category details which we have entered that details we are going to fetch and show the products guys so guys let's get started so first let's create one route with the name collections okay so this will be a route and now let's create this route guys first let's get back to our react app copy and paste paste and the name of this will be collection make it capital and over here register the component and now guys import collections from we want the same path so you can just copy this like in front end i want to create one collections folder where we'll tell as view category okay so guys let's copy this collections let's move under src components front end let's create one folder name collections and inside this collections we'll create one file name called view category dot js okay all set so this file is called now over here cool guys as simple guys let's begin with importing react and start the form so import react create the function name and as simple export default your view category guys and now return function let's design the page so now class name padding y3 where bg warning h6 will tell category page let's make this in a container all set and now guys let's copy the same thing and redesign some other format py3 where container i required then after this container i need a div tag with the row class name row and then the data so your data will be okay category data let's see the output guys first let's get back refresh okay so module not found it's correct i think it's catch a problem yep guys so it was just a catch error so let's see that once okay so we have given this view category function name and this is collection so let's change this guys once I don't want to keep this as collection let's make it view category for collection route we'll keep it as view category which will be more correct to understand okay so now let's refresh once again perfect guys so now let's get all the data so this category data is nothing but these details so yep guys let's get back over here and use state so let's use user effect we are going to use hooks react hooks to get the data use effect where we don't require this array we are not going to get any such kind of things and over here guys let's use axios to get data response of add a function where use back tick forward slash api forward slash get category okay and yes guys if your response dot data dot status is triple equal to 200 if it is success means then you are going to print the data so let's console log and check guys first response dot data dot category we will tell okay 
so first let's go to a laravel application and create a api okay so so let's go to our laravel application we are not going under api middleware okay so let's create a route that will be a global route using get method where we have created the route name as get category so let's paste that and go to a controller guys and controller colon colon class comma where at index function not index we will tell category okay done so first let's comment this right now because it will throw an error open your terminal and create a controller guys so php artisan make colon controller controller where inside my app http controller under api folder let's create the front end controller so api folder forward slash the front end controller okay hit enter controller created perfect guys and now create the function with the name category as you have defined over here okay so before creating please import the class import cool so you can see it's imported guys let's copy this category function name public function with the category let's create a variable called category is equal to your category model okay colon colon where you are going to tell where status is zero means then only get it okay perfect let's return and response function in json format status 200 comma your category copy and send that dollar category okay so make sure you have imported the class of this model category model and now guys you have to copy this variable and get back to your react where you need to paste that so you'll get the output so now guys let's see okay let's inspect go to console now refresh so we didn't get still let's see that we are using use effect so we need to declare over here effect and now okay so just refresh guys and our data has come so we have two data that is one is mobile devices and the second is men's fashion which you can see can see in your dashboard guys on the category list perfect so guys in some cases you will not get the output so at that time make sure you restart your react app okay so i faced that error catch a problem was there so i restarted and now data is fetched guys and now yes guys so let's fetch the data over here let's get back instead of echoing in console log let's use state so use state where you will tell category make this to capital and add array perfect let's use this set category where you will set this data whatever you have consoled so after setting this i want to show loading okay so let's add that also so set loading function which will make it to false right now false and copy and paste 
loading loading make this to true true perfect so now guys let's use if else condition if else if the loading is true you should show return h4 loading category okay dot 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 if it's loading is done when it is set to false then you are going to show this category data okay so guys how will you show that um let's use let's create one variable called show category list okay is equal to where i am going to create a null variable where let's store all the data inside this of your category whatever you have said that set category let's get the data from set category dot where we are going to loop the data and get the output okay item arrow function open and close curly brace done guys now return design your html so we have designed till row right so over here show category let's print that let's copy this because we don't want to type that div again and again as simple guys let's use column md4 where card and then your detail so let's keep this in h5 item dot your column name so let me just show you so this is our table right this is name let's see in database so under categories table this is name okay name name let's item of name done let's control x create one div class name card hyphen body where inside this we'll paste it and now guys let's see the output okay use state is not defined let's define that this use state set guys let's make it up and down refresh so loading categories and cool guys so you can see guys men and men's fashion is rendered now this is telling this should be having a unique key let's give that key guys so to skip this error okay so let's add the key k e y key is equal to open and close where item dot id you can add it or else you can just give comma over here and just whatever id x incrementing id you can paste that that's it guys save and let's refresh perfect so you can see guys there is no error of that and you can see that is mobile and fashion in case guys you have image either you have edited to your category list and added the image over here you can just fetch that also in simple way guys let me just add one dummy image where img open and close src and your image path guys where we'll give the class name is equal to with 100 and alt is equal to we have to give unique name so let's keep the product name only guys alt should be having unique name and href you have to give some value so it goes and connect to another page okay so guys so instead of a tag we have to create a link tag guys in react so link 
to your path so if you are using link please import the class import link from react router dom okay all set so same way if you want you can just paste it over here for let's keep in double quotes so we will keep the path name as we are on the collection so let's copy this collection remove this guys so we don't require over here and we don't have image right now so we will just leave that as blank collections forward slash and your item of slug okay we need to add that over here so we have to concatenate so we can just use the same curly brace to concatenate it guys where you will tell this in a back tick forward slash where dollar open and close curly brace where you will tell item dot slug so this slug means you have created that slug right as you remember men men fashion mobile where you can find this over here slug that is your url so let's get back save and now guys let's refresh and check the output perfect so let's click on this you can see that collection slash mobile let's get back and let's click on men's fashion click okay so you can see that collection slash men fashion so now guys you need to create a route for this as you can show your product detail so guys let's see this in next video okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share